It came from years of sun exposure. It has taken years for it to surface. It affects millions of people worldwide. It is called actinic keratosis, and most who have it have never heard of it. Actinic keratosis, also known as AK or solar keratosis, is a chronic skin condition resulting from prolonged UV sun exposure. Regular skin checks are needed to recognize and diagnose AK. Although it is the most common form of sun damage, there is no way to predict which AK lesions will progress to non-melanoma skin cancer, and therefore clinical guidelines recommend that all AKs be treated. Here are several factors that can indicate if a patient is at higher risk. The first is age. Since AK takes years to develop, it is commonly found in people aged 40 and older. The second is skin type. Patients at a higher risk tend to have pale or fair skin, lighter colored hair, and lighter colored eyes. And third, consider your patient's lifestyle. In addition to sun worshippers, many have put themselves at risk just by working outdoors or by leading active lives out in the sun. And patients with a previous history of AK or skin cancer may also be at higher risk. AK may take years to develop, but it can be diagnosed in a matter of minutes. Once you have identified a higher risk patient, remember, AK is usually found on sun exposed areas such as the face, scalp, chest and back of hands, and can appear as a single lesion or as multiple lesions grouped together. The area of skin surrounding a clinical lesion may also contain subclinical lesions, which are invisible to the naked eye, but may progress to visible AK. You may also diagnose AK by touch. Lesions can have a rough or scaly texture, like sandpaper, and can itch, burn, or sting. And since AK is a chronic condition, patients diagnosed with at least one lesion are over seven times as likely to develop additional lesions over the course of one year. Millions of people have AK, and you have the ability to check and diagnose more of your patients today.